reporter at a hotel in Tampa when this all started. Fox 13's Kelly Cowan uh, joining us to bring us up to speed on what happened and who they're looking for. Thank goodness she was still on the phone with her friend. That's right. And thankfully, her family and friends were able to track her mo movements with her phone and show up to try to rescue her during the assault. And now police are looking for the man who took off on foot. But, you know, this could have ended up so much worse. She is expected to be OK. She was able to give police a description of the man. And we have this composite now that Tampa police have released. Yeah. I'm give everybody a chance to get up off the floor because I know everybody fell out of their chairs when they saw this. <laughs> um, and then we'll continue to show. Everybody up? All right. Um, black male, late 20s, early 30s, probably six foot two, then build facial hair, blue long sleeve shirt, or hoodie, and black pants. They are searching for a man who's described as a black male in his late 20s or early 30s, about 6'2 in height with a thin build and facial hair. He was wearing a blue long sleeve shirt or hoodie and black pants Tuesday night when he attacked a young woman who was delivering food to the residents in on Boy Scout Boulevard in Tampa. Now, this happened just after 11 o'clock at night. Detectives say that the man with a gun walked up to her and forced her back into her own car. What he likely didn't realize, though, is that she had AirPods in her ears and she was on the phone with her girlfriend at the time. So that woman heard what was going on. She called 911. Officers were dispatched to the hotel, but by that point, the suspect had forced the woman to drive him to an apartment complex about 15 minutes away, where he then began to sexually assault her. The woman's family, however, they were tracking her phone. So they showed up at the apartment complex to rescue her. And when they showed up, police say that the suspect started firing his gun at them, shot multiple times before he took. Wow. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Glad the crowd be so bored, man. These these sons, man, they so exciting, man. It's just a difference, man. Like a movie. Yeah. Wow. Like this is unbelievable. I listen. If this was a movie, yeah, I wouldn't believe it. You said what? I, I wouldn't believe this if this was a movie. <laughs> no, this this couldn't happen. What the fuck? I mean, Jesus. So that woman heard what was going on. She called 911. Officers were dispatched to the hotel. But by that point, the suspect had forced the woman to drive him to an apartment complex about 15 minutes away, where he then began to sexually assault her. The woman's family, however, they were tracking her phone. So they showed up at the apartment complex to rescue her. And when they showed up, police say that the suspect started firing his gun at them, shot multiple times before he took off on foot. One of the rescuers, a woman in her 20s, was shot, but thankfully she's expected to be okay. Police say both victims transported to a near a nearby hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, but interim Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkaw is urging anyone who may have seen or heard anything at either the Residence Inn or the Bolera Lakes Apartments in North Lowry Park to share what they know with police, no matter how small the detail may seem. Anyone who thinks that they recognize the suspect should call Tampa police. You can also make an anonymous tip through Crime Stoppers, but Tampa police urging that they get information as soon as possible because they want to put this guy behind bars before he can hurt anyone else. That's for sure. All right, Kelly Cowan, Live Force this morning. We'll talk to you later on. Thanks.